Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and the She-Hulk situation has gotten fascinating. Everyone believed that the show would be bad, but it really baffles even the most die-hard anti-MCU fans out there how bad the show could truly get. Now, I haven't seen the show, I'm not planning on it. Over at the Roundtable, we've divided and conquered on all the shitty shows coming up, and I'll be taking House of the Dragon starting Sunday, but I've seen a lot of reviews for She-Hulk, seen clips, and the clips are just astounding how horrifically on the head that they try to beat you over it with the sexism argument. Holy fuck. It's unfunny. It's feminist propaganda and it makes Jen completely unlikable. That's a big thing with female superheroes and female main characters in general these days is the writers always make them incredibly unlikable and I think that's the key to making a good story. Characters are where a good story begins and ends because if you can't relate to the main character, if you can't connect with them, if you can't care what happens to them, then the plot, the tension, everything falls to the wayside, especially in action movies. You won't care about the stakes in an action sequence if everyone is so dislikable that you you're secretly rooting for them to lose and to die. And this whole She-Hulk situation is a perfect example of that. And she just really says some really heinous stuff, especially when she's talking about how she controls her anger to Bruce. Bruce, who watched his father beat his mother to death. Bruce, who tried to commit suicide on multiple occasions. Bruce, whose girlfriend's dad has been hunting him using government funds for decades. He's been fighting this Hulk inside of him for over 15 years, and he's just barely got a handle on it. Now, I don't like how he's gotten a handle on it since Endgame. Nah, it was a good one-time deal. I don't think they should stick with the smart Hulk. Uh, Ragnarok, I think, was some really peak Hulk. Ragnarok and the first Avengers movie, those were the best Hulk movies, in my personal opinion, at least. But he's gone through it all. He understands rage better than anyone else. And she's just like, well, I get catcalled, and that's, like, as bad as shooting yourself in the face, and I might get murdered, and it's so bad Z's to be a woman Z. That clip in particular is really, really heinous, but that contradicts a previous encounter she had earlier in the show, where she says she has no trouble controlling her anger, but then she hulks out and tries to attack a bunch of dudes outside a bar when she loses her anger. Huh, that's a contradiction contradictory statement. It's almost as if, yeah, those men deserve to die, but we gotta say that she's choosing to do it, and it just really makes her incredibly unlikable. And she'll be our, of course, of all places, fully backs this awful scene and this awful episode, at least with their whole, oh, She-Hulk confirms women make for better Hulks, period. And that's definitely, I think, a reference to, you know, menstrual cycles, because that's brought up a few times. Hulk blood is kind of a big deal, and it's just weird. But CBR really, really sticks it on the head when they're like, is she's like a woman Z? That's why she's better Z. That is sexist. I'm sorry. If you're just saying that implicitly because of vagina, you're better, that is sexist. Now, different situations, uh, certain sexes might be better equipped to handle certain situations, but just an outright statement of, yeah, women, they're better because they deal with sexism. What the fuck is that even supposed to mean? And there's a lot of really, really dumb quotes that they have in here. Just because she's a woman, she's better. And it's really, really awful. And yeah, they think it's a reference to Avengers when he says, I'm always angry. Yeah, Hulk is always angry. And Bruce, he controls it a lot of the time, as that scene proves, which again, Again, contradicts her whole, I understand anger better than you because I might get murdered if I don't let a man mansplain to me, Bruce. God, I've seen the majority of the episode just from the clips and it's really way worse than I could have predicted. I thought it would be about average MCU bad these days, average Marvel show bad, but it has gone above and beyond the cringe and horrifically unfunny feminist propaganda that we've come to expect from Marvel these days. And yeah, that monologue in particular is what was the egregious part, but there's other things. It doesn't make sense in the comic books. She had one one thousandth of Hulk's blood. That's why she's smaller. That's why she's able to control her rage because she has such a small dosage of it that she is easily able to overcome a rage. And this one, it's because of JJ. That's how she's able to control it, not because it's such a small dose. And then there's the other scenes, like when the girls come in and say, oh, did, did a man do this to you? Man or bad? Domestic violence, top priority, top thing on the top of your mind. It's really ridiculous. Then, of course, there's how they redo her origin story so that she doesn't get her powers from a man. She has to be saving Bruce with the most contrived bullshit ever with an inhibitor chip. It's really dumb, but they had to change it because she, no woman can receive power from a man. And this article really goes into it talking about Captain Marvel, how this is the continuation of that Black Widow. Women good, that's important. Women are more important than men. Some really, really sexist stuff in here, honestly. And it's it's not surprising coming from Shield BR. And I just wanted to talk about She-Hulk and this article just put it so horrifically perfectly in their shieldiness that 
it, it was the obvious place to go. But then there's also the Rotten Tomatoes scores, which are actually far worse than I would have expected. The audience scores are usually heavily inflated when it comes to Marvel and the big franchises. And we've seen that again and again and again. Rotten Tomatoes is a useless source for the most part, but if you really put your effort in, you can kind of gauge using the actual audience scores that are in there. But 66% is quite lower than I would have imagined that Rotten Tomatoes would allow a show like this to reach down to. And if you look at these, there's a lot of one-star reviews. And you, when they're this long, you know they're real. If it's just something like that, you might might be a bot. I don't think it is. The CGI really was horrific, but you're sexist for bringing that up. And see how overwhelmingly negative that first page is, with the exception of a couple five, four stars. Half stars for the majority of the page. 66 is definitely not accurate from what we're just seeing here from this first page. There's probably more that clear it up a little bit more, but 66% is quite low for Rotten Tomatoes up to allow this show to dip down to. Now, I have no intentions of watching this show as of yet. If things get truly bad and you guys want me to, I will, but it's just hilarious to see the backlash to this from the fans. It's hilarious to see how bad the feminist propaganda can truly get in a show like this where it's a superhero show and one punch is thrown and the day is won and, you know, but JJ means you're better at controlling anger. Man, if only we would have known that. Wars would be extinct. Oh, wait, no. Wars have been caused by women before in history. Uh-oh. Well, that is just all that I have for She-Hulk. I just really wanted to talk about how horrifically bad some of those clips were. And I've seen some people getting hit copyright-wise for those clips. That's why I didn't play them here. But I'm really interested to see how bad the show can truly get. Because the first episodes of these Disney Marvel shows are usually some of the best ones of their season. That's not really saying much. But it usually seems to dip in quality drastically as it goes along. So this show could really get heinously horrific that even the normies, even the MCU stands cannot defend this woke feminist propaganda. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.